Hello and welcome back to a new episode of What If and today in What If we have all the players who transferred or not all the players, the most of the players who transferred this season into one club. We've put them all, I've put them all in one club and we're going to see how they're going to do in the Premier League. Um, so yeah, if you've liked this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button because it really helps me out and let's get started. So we start with the first season, we're doing three seasons to see how they will do in that time space. It's currently 17th because of that, it hasn't started yet. And this, these are the players that we're going to use. We've got Emiliano Martinez, Edward Mendy as the goalkeepers of course. Then for the central defenders we've got Ruben Diaz, Diego Llorente, Nathan Ake in there. Then we've also got, let me see, uh, Samedo, Emre Chan, Timothy Castagne, Chilwell, Rubigon. For the midfield, we've got Pjanic, Arthur, uh, Suyak is there as well. Same goes for, of course, Donny van der Beek. Thiago's in here. Then in the attack, we've got Ferran Torres, Kai Havertz, Hakim Ziyech, James Rodriguez, Leroy Sanay. Timo Werner, Diego Jota, Mauro Icardi, and last but not least, Alvaro Morata. And they are going to compete this season in the Premier League, the FA Cup, and the Carabao Cup. So it's going to be exciting to see how they're going to do. So let's get to the end of the year and see how they're And here done. we are, end of the season. And this is right now how they've got their squad lining up. If we're going over it, there we go. In goal, we got Emiliano Martinez. Then we got Nelson Semedo as the right back and Sergio Ruigon as the left back. Then we they paired Diego Lorente and Nathan Ake, but I think Ruben Diaz played a few games as well. Yeah, he played 24 games. In the midfield, we've got Arthur combined with Mielem Pjanic. And on the attacking, as attacking midfielder on the right, we've got Ferran Torres, and opposite of him is Leroy Sainai. Kai Havertz is playing in the middle and Mauro Icardi is playing up top. And we're going to sort out by goals this season. Kai Havertz scored the most goals, 19 goals, followed by Sané with 15. Morata scored 11. He's on level with Diego Jota. Hakim Ziyech scored 10 and Mauro Icardi scored 9. And if we sort out by assists, we see here that Sané had 15 assists. Ziyech had 11. Havertz had 9. Thiago 8. Pjanic, 6, and Semedo had 5. Nathan Ake is in there as well, he had 4, pretty good for a central defender, happy with that. Let's have a look at how they've done. So they started the season with a win, 2-1 over United, and followed that up by a 4-0 win over Aston Villa, beating Wolves 3-2, then Huddersfield in the Carabao Cup second round was beaten as well, then Sheffield United came along 2-2, pretty really unfortunate but nothing you can do about it and Southampton was beaten Everton was beaten Peterborough was beaten in the Carabao Cup third round West Ham was beaten in the Premier League then Bournemouth was beaten they drew with Chelsea in which they had a lot of luck and then they lost 2-1 against uh, Newcastle which is a shame then they won on penalties against Everton, beating Watford 2-1. Arsenal was beaten. Tottenham was beaten. They lost against Manchester City. Unfortunate. Sané scoring the goal. That's got to haunt them. Then they got beat Norwich. Crystal Palace was drawn with. Burnley was beaten. Norwich was beaten in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. Brighton was beaten 2-0. Newcastle was beaten 4-0. Sheffield Wednesday was beaten in the FA Cup. Manchester City was beaten in the Carabao Cup semi-final first leg. They drew with West Ham. They drew with Chelsea. They won against Brighton. Won against Luton in the FA Cup fourth round. They won heavily against City in the second leg of the semi-final. They drew with Austin Villa. Lost against Liverpool 
Liverpool was a man down, so that's a shame. They won against Manchester United. Drew with Bournemouth. Beat Liverpool then in the Premier League again. Lost against Arsenal 2-0 in the Carabao Cup final. Won the Evy Cup fourth, fifth round against Burnley. Drew with Palace. Drew with Burnley. Beat Norwich. Lost on penalties in the FA Cup quarterfinals against Bournemouth. That's unfortunate. Beat Arsenal. Watford was beaten. City was lost against Tottenham. Beat them as well. Sheffield United was beaten. Wolves was beaten. Everton was not beaten. And they beat Southampton on the final day. And that leaves us here. Alright, so let's have a look at the league. How our players did. Uh, first team overview, most goals. We scored third amount, most goals. 78 goals scored, pretty good. Conceded only 40. And 12 clean sheets. Tickling completion, 72% was done. Most fouls made. Let's have a look how we did. Or how they did. Uh, yeah, joint 8th with Arsenal. Decent. Uh, I don't want to look at the cup. Average possession, 51%. Passing accuracy, 76. Heading, nah, don't do that. Crossing, joint first, 31%. Good, good, good. Shooting accuracy, third as well, 43. Joint second with Liverpool. Uh, let's have a look at player overview then. So Harry Kane actually got, uh, he got golden booth, he scored most amount of goals. And the first one we've got in is Kai Havertz, joined 8 with Richarlison from Everton, scoring 15. And is there then anyone else in here from us? No, there isn't. Oh, that's a shame. And if we have a look at least conceded, yeah, Martinez is in there, 26 clean sheets. No, oh, he isn't in there. Where's Martinez? There he is. Mendy is in there, 12. And Martinez is in there, joint 12 as well, 6 clean sheets. I don't like that. Tackles per 90 minutes, nope. Distance covered per 90 minutes, not in there. Key tackles, not an okay, does have those. 34 key tackles, good, good, good. Most dribbles per 90 minutes. Leroy Sané, 3.78, 87. Most assists. There we are, Sané is in there, 10 assists, joint 6th. Uh, happy with that. Key passes, Kai Havertz actually, pretty good, I like that. 35 key passes played. Sané, Ziyech in there as well, only one key pass between the two of them. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way they played. I, Yeah, with how they've done, if we have a look at the competitions overview. This is how it looked for the first season. So let's continue towards season number two, to the end of season number two, because there's nothing, not much. Here we are change. at the end of the second season. And um, well, something did change. They bought a new goalkeeper. Unfortunately, they bought uh, Esteban Andranda. Nothing I could do about it. Real shame. Club captain is now Re Ruben Diaz, key player is Sanai, and the hottest prospect is Mohamed Shali. I hope I pronounced that right. But let's have a look at how they've done. And the most goals go to Sanai, followed by Havertz, followed by Morata, Diego Jota is in there as well, James Rodriguez, and Hakim Ziyech. And here we go by assists. Sané is in there again, top spot, followed by Ziyech, Arthur, then Semedo, Havertz, and Rodriguez. So let's have a look at competitions. First of all, Premier League finished fifth last season, fourth, so dropped the place. Still 70 points, pretty good. Still playing in Euro Europe, so happy about that. Team overview, most goals go to Tottenham. We are in third with 72. Best shooting accuracy, joint fifth with Everton. 
crossing joint uh joined second act uh, joined first actually 30 percent pretty good heading still not in there passing accuracy 76 percent of the passes are completed average possession 52 percent so i think that went up one percent not sure most files made we are now in sixth sixth 506 files okay okay or 509 Best tackling completion ratio, fourth. 73% of our tackles is uh, completed. Good, good, I like that. Most clean sheets not in there and least conceded. We conceded nine goals more, so we now conceded 49. And if you have a look at the player overview, top goal scorer is Harry Kane again. He's joined by Chris Wood. And um, yeah. Sané is the closest with joint tenth with thirteen goals. Not that happy about that. Not that happy about it. Key passes goes to Sané again. Most assists. Not in there. Most dribbles. Yeah, we got Jota, Sané as well. Most distance per ninety minutes. No one. Tackles per ninety minutes. No one. Most key tackles. No one again. Clean sheets. Nope. Least conceded. Nope. Uh, really unfortunate, but it is what it is today. Let's go back. Have a look at Champions League. So obviously ended up in third position, which meant we had to play the Euro Cup final, which is in a week. But we'll talk about that next see at the end of next season. We are also in. The FA Cup final against Liverpool and we ended up being the runner-ups in the Carabao Cup so we did actually pretty well I think first season for the Champions League and then in the second season with all those extra games still ended up fifth in Premier League pretty well done I like that a lot and um, we're now going towards the end of the last season season number three so let's go to there we are in the last season already new man in here and in there as well and there as well so onana came in canny came in as well and for linda not a clue who that guy is but yeah he came in captain is now ben chilwell key player is still sane and moma shali is still the hottest prospect and as you can see down here we actually won the fa cup and we also won the community shield which probably meant that if we go uh, well so we won the community shield yay for us the FA Cup but I'm I want to see yeah so here past winners Chelsea won it from us next time but we're still in the finals so what I might actually do is go towards the end of that day and then we'll see if we win a big so game. Um, yeah we can start with some good news we won the Europa Cup beat Atalanta 3-1, happy with that. Let's have a quick look at who scored in there. Icardi, Sané and Rodriguez. Good, I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, but for now, Premier League time. We finished 6th. We had 1 point less than last year and it cost us dearly because we're now in. We dropped a place as well. Drop a point, drop a place. That's the way it goes. But let's have a quick look at the team overview. Most goals. We actually had second most man goals scored uh, which doesn't even come close to the other amount of goals we scored because we now only had 73 goals shooting accuracy is all the way down in seventh with 41 percent joint six though with Bournemouth crossing completion we are joined first with Watford on 31 percent heading still not in there passing accuracy fourth uh, joint joint third I like joint third that sounds better with 75 percent Everett possession went up I think by two percent because we now have 54 percent of the ball and that makes us fourth in there most fouls made sixth again but now only 484 fouls instead of the 509 we had last year best tackling completion 72 percent so that makes us joint for the fourth most clean sheets 
fourth this time with 11 joined with Tottenham and least conceded joined seventh with Arsenal on 49 so we also we we did concede less goals or we had most more clean sheets but we also conceded a bit more goals than last year I believe or was it on that oh, no, it was on level on level the player overview top goal scorer goes to the pie for the first time and uh, Alvaro Morata is in eighth with 15 good finally someone back from our team and best at hitting targets Alvaro Morata with 60% of his shots being on target pretty good key passes were not in there for the first time in a long long time unfortunately most assists Leroy Sané is joined sixth with uh, Florian Tovan with nine assists most dribbles per 90 minutes we are in seventh with 3.96 distant per 90 minutes not in there most key tackles per 90 minutes not in there as well most key tackles not in there most clean sheets Onana with 11 joined fourth with Kepa and Ely Pavlenka and then we got least conceded we're not in there because we conceded 49 unfortunate but yeah pretty good I think I like it we're also going to have a quick look at the other competitions I don't think we have won anything else we did win the Euros but we were knocked out in the semi-finals of the FA Cup knocked out in the Carabao Cup fourth round by City we then won it City also won the FA Cup but we did win the Community Shield which I like that's good something to take with us and for yeah now um, that's basically it for now they've did made some transfers lineup didn't change that much uh, Ake, Ruben in there Valinda is there Onana is there as well those are the new guys that's it and the one new came in but yeah uh, that's it I hope you guys liked it and if you liked it hit the like button smash it and I'll see you guys in the next one see ya